How y'all doing? I hope I have enough room to do this because I got to clear up my table. There's too much junk on here. But what I'm looking at today is something called Robo Alive Dino Wars Stegosaurus. Can you say um, Dino Riders? That's exactly what this reminds me of. It's like, um, what if Dino Riders doesn't, I don't know. It's like, you know how you hear about like, Transformers making a comeback with cars and all this other stuff making comebacks. Well, Evidently, Dino Riders is not going to be able to do it because everybody else is already doing Dino Riders. Speaking of, I got this box today, too. I'm not a big dinosaur fan, but evidently I'm becoming one. So, the Dino Riders Stegosaurus is right here. Let's see what he can do. We got the little missile we can put in. It's got two different settings. Uh, just like I will show you in a minute something else. This, this is like a big version of these. I will do that on a different video. So, we got this big Dino Rider. Uh, put batteries in him right there's the uh belly button you just use your basic screwdriver to get the no batteries out and put batteries in hopefully he won't shoot this i think he's got light up these things because it's clearer and i think there's light coming from him yeah it's showing up on the let me turn this light off I was hoping his mouth would chomp or something, but it doesn't even look like it moves. So I don't think he's going to stop walking and maybe stop and roar a bit or something like that. But all right, so we got uh, a helmet. It does come off, trust me. It came off all ago when I was taking him out of the package and taking off about a billion rubber bands, um, which is great. I'd rather have those in those plastic things. We got the weapon on the side right here. It can go like this, it can go up. Uh, it has a button on the top where you can push it. And there's two different settings. That one's pretty hard. Let's see if this one's even harder. No, that one's even softer. So you got the, uh, but the, the since this one's farther, you gotta push it back farther. This one's gonna have a bigger wallop, whichever way you're supposed to put it, which is probably top right here. Yeah, you could tell a little bit of a difference. All right, so yeah, this is uh, definitely Dino Riders got written all over it, except there's no little action figures sitting on the top of it. it looks like his um, battle armor comes off and can be put back on him. The only thing I guess this is not Dino Riders is that there's nothing to ride. So I guess it's Dino Saucers or Dino Wars. Although Dino Saucers is something else I got. This is something I'll open in a different video. I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what you're going to see if you find these for just $10. I usually don't buy something this big, and I'm not really into dinosaurs, but I really like dino riders. Back when Imaginex was doing their thing to be basically dino riders, I, I was really into it for some reason. I thought it was the coolest thing, and now I'm really into these. Now, the, the difference is the Imaginex were, number one, cuter, and number two, they were more like construction things. They weren't trying to really go for the war theme as much because it's for little kids. Now, what I wanted to show you is this right here. I have probably all of these. Um, this is the Dino Strike uh, color change. You can get this at your Hobby Lobby for $6.99. You used to be able to get it at Walmart for about the same price. I'm pretty sure it was exactly the same price. But Walmart's now selling the blue dinosaurs. And at first I was like, yay, blue dinosaurs, or the blue container for dinosaurs, Ice Age or whatever. And then I was like, I picked one up and put it in my buggy. And then I was like, wait a minute, there's no weapons on these. So if you look on this container, there's nothing on this container, but the you could tell from the one that they're showing that there's definitely weapons involved. Kind of like the Dino Rider right here. So yeah, this has got the Dino Rider vibes going with it. Also, these I've been picking up for years. I just picked that one up today. Now they've been doing Robo Alive dinosaurs, but they weren't like war. They weren't like war themed. They were like just walking dinosaurs or whatever. Um, which does not appeal to me whatsoever, but dinosaurs with big old cannons and armor and stuff, that's cool. So I, that definitely appeals to me more. Dinosaur skeletons also appeal to me, especially dinosaur skeletons that are alive, which I got this one again at Ross. You might be thinking that's the same one you already got. Now that was an orange one. This has a, this is a zit. It's got a black head. All right. So these zippers, sometimes they're easy to pull. Sometimes they're not. So I'm going to always have a blade nearby and it may be a little different because I don't see okay so when I was buying these they come in these little um like fruit 
pieces, like five individual little, it was really stupid. I really hated it. Maybe they got away from it for this last, nope, I could see it right there. So they didn't get away from it for this one, unfortunately. So I thought maybe this is like another year of it that Walmart didn't get, but it's probably exactly the same. So this is a mystery. It's a mystery to me. Oh well, cutting it's not gonna be the end all. All right. Oh my gosh. They, they, they end up also, not only you have to peel it off, but you got to glue, there's glue on it. All right, there is a zipper. The zippers are not the best. You go from the other end, see if I can get it that way. This is by far one of the most frustrating things about these. It's just getting the little zipper off. Since it's got the slices, I'm going to cut along one of those slices. Even though I'm not trying to save the packaging, trust me. I hate these packages. Especially this one right here because you can't do much with them. What are you going to do with it? I mean, it's like, I can't think of anything. And I've tried. Trust me, I've tried. Because I hate to, hate to throw things away. And I hate to just recycle when I can reuse and I can't find any reuse for it. Now, the white balls that come with the other ones, they're way more useful. I just gave some to my neighbor. I was like, here, here's some uh, hand do-it-yourself Christmas ornaments. That's what I told her. It's like, you know, so you can take them back to you when you go to Boston or Maine or Massachusetts or whatever it is. So she goes up there between Thanksgiving and Christmas. All right, so um, here's what we've got so far. Yeah, I probably do have this one. It looks like the Raptor. And you've probably seen me do videos of these before. I've got plenty on my channel. All I gotta do is just go to my videos and go to, um, you know, channel or uh, search videos. And you'll see what I have on there. And I do have a lot of these because I am a huge fan of these. I just don't like the packaging. I, the new ones, the new packaging, the way they got it is so much better. Yeah, again. Uh, if you were a fan of the Diner Raid Riders back in the 80s, let me know. I'm curious because I was not a fan. I didn't really have any. My little brother had some, and I had the action figures from them. But getting the actual dinosaurs, I heard was impossible almost on eBay because they are just... Usually they broke so easily. They were not the most high-quality toys. And I think they had the same kind of thing as this thing right now. It's, um, you know, it moves by itself kind of thing. Like, a, like a, either... Probably like a Zoids kind of concept. All right, so here are the different ones we can get. Let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit. You got 13 to collect. That's a lucky number right there. And the color changes like on the stripes. All right, so we have Tribe Battle Ops. We have the uh, Terror. I like the Terror, actually. I have a few of those. Uh, the Raid Raptor is what I got. Uh, Raid Raptor. And we also have a... a Tankliosaur. Ha, oh, I get it. An Ankylosaur, but it's a Tankliosaur. We also have a very rare um, Rex, Rex. Rex. Now I have this actually sitting at my lamp because it has glow in the dark things. Uh, it's not from this one. It's from the glow in the dark series they did. So it's the Tri Blaster. So I have the glow in the dark version of that. It's just, um, I think it's just a bullet to glow. And then we got the Skelosaur. And on the back, we got. The Rage Raptor, which is this one repainted. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, the Rage Raptor. Let me see. Because the Strikosaur looks a lot like him, too, but it's not. Um, and we got the Danger Dino. Sorry, I'm off screen, aren't I? Danger Dino. I've got quite a few Danger Dinos, actually. The Attack Rex. The Stego War is one of my favorites. I like Stegosaurs a lot. Um, and then the Combata soar it's like the platysaur or something isn't it I don't, i'm not a big dinosaur fan like i told you i'm really not i mean you might be thinking well you don't get a lot of them i sure do indeed i do get a lot of them but i only get the ones like this like i said with the blue ones they were the um the blue ones were oh look it's the ice age but it was ice age without any of the weapons or anything i think some of them had like like things to trap their mouth shut so in case you captured them so yeah this is the raid raptor all right, let's see. I think this is the front. Like, you guys like this? You could quickly figure it out because the tail, well, no, no, on this one you can't. I don't know. I'm thinking it's the opposite now. Oh, yeah, because the Raid Raptor, he has the spring-loaded um, legs is what it is. So this is actually the head. Even though the Raptor is more up, upright. 
Um, yeah, so he's got the two bolts right there. So you gotta put them on carefully when you put these on. And there, that thing changes color. Hmm. I'm not really, I mean, color change is cool. Like if it's a suntan twos detailer, I think she's awesome. Or uh, something to that effect, like, um, you know, like cars that change colors. I still have some I change color cars. My gosh, they're five bucks each now. That's crazy. So no, nah, I'd like I like something that's changed color, but you know that changing colors. Ooh, it did change colors. It was white while ago or something. It has. It must have warmed up from being in here. Okay, so there's its tail. All right, so what you gotta do is you push down on it, and he basically jumps up so he can stand. So you push down. He's got a spring attack action. Like, here we go, ready? Whoa, he almost jumped on the floor. All right, so he's got like the spring attack action like you see in Jurassic Park. And he has the jaw that comes off so you can be, uh, you know, Samson and, and kill a bunch of people with the, the jawbone of an ass. No, it's actually a jawbone of a uh, dinosaur. All right, so the armor goes on like that. The bigger part goes on the front. You only get one weapon, so choose wisely. Do you want to go in this hole? this hole or this hole now if you get more than one raptor of course you can mix and match the weapons as you want they're all five millimeter pegs so if you want to put it on the back of a micro man figure you can do that there they actually work with them that's one of the other cool things about this and we got it's a micro raptor <laughs> i don't think the helmet will fit on his head even though his head's way smaller it's just that those horns and stuff it's micro raptor yeah so yeah, it does fit in the five millimeter holes, like on the back of the Microman. I've already done that before. That's why I knew that. I didn't just guess. All right, I like it on the top, even though we might shoot him in the head. <laughs> so we got also we got two different things, just like we do on the other one. So it's um, the top is where the button is, I think. Yeah, it's gonna pop out when I push it in. So one of them is, and when you store these, don't store them with the weapons, you know, loaded. Not because they might go off and kill somebody. <laughs> it's not like that. It's just that it does wear out the spring if it's, you know, compacted when you're storing it. So this is the, if it goes in farther, it'll shoot better. So there's two different settings. There's the light setting and there's the sting setting. And there's also one more piece of armor. So you can't tell who he is. He's got a mask on. No, it's actually armor. So see, he's, uh, he, I mean, you can't, whoa, I think it's shoot under the refrigerator. All right, some of these, they do go up and down like this part has up and down. Uh, this one's not one of them, so I was hoping it would be because right here, he's going to have to like shoot to this left and right. He's just, I don't like things are asymmetrical, so that's why. You're like, well, don't you just put it on the left or right then? Um, I don't like asymmetric. So he can be like, Rah! and he turns around, he sees you, he's like, I'm going to shoot you. So he's got that armor and that armor. Let's take a close, a close look at that beautiful face of his. He's got that mouth that opens. He's got some light painting down here. Unfortunately, it does not translate to his neck well or to his tail. So it kind of is very, man, that's actually kind of bad. You want your uh, paint to look like it's natural and that's very unnatural looking. He's got arms that are, you know, forward and back swivel. They, I know when I put them on, it looked like I was on a ball joint, but it really was not. Um, and the legs, they are on a swivel as well. But when you push them up, we push one up, the other one goes up, and it's a spring-loaded action. All right. The tail, it swivels. The neck, it swivels. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I forgot. This one particularly, it's got that little nudge in there for the tail and for it that you really can't move it. But let's now look at it compared to his bigger version. So in real life, these dinosaurs, when they come into eggs... They're all pretty much the same size, which is weird to see a T-Rex on the same scale with a Raptor. They're just not in the right scales. But when you see, like, say, a Stegosaurus and a Raptor, these kind of look like more in scale because we know Stegosauruses are larger than Raptors. Raptors are pretty much the size of chickens, a little bit bigger. So they were um, one of the smaller animals, but very, they, they did definitely, you know, hunt in packs and things like that that we know about. So, yeah... <laughs> That's pretty cool that we have now different sizes of the same concept. We got armor, we got weapons, and instead of them being in a ball where you don't know what you're getting, you're getting them in a window box. 
And let's see what else they have available since I only saw the Stegosaurus at my store, but then over at the TJ Maxx, they had a dinosaur, uh, they had the Rex. So if you look on my um, Instagram, you'll see, I think it was just the T-Rex, but that's pretty cool. They got a Mega Rex. Um, they also have a Raptor, which is, I guess, his big brother. So there's three other ones available. And there's other dinosaurs too, but that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, these do not appeal at all to me. These three appeal to me. I just think it's cool to have dinosaurs with weapons. So if you're a Dino Rider fan from the 80s, this is going to be something right up your alley. Let me know in the comments if you did have Dino Riders. And if this is something that is like, yeah, I would love to get into this, go for it. And remember, um, you can get this. At Hobby Lobby, it's about the same price. I, I don't remember incorrectly. Um, plus, with Bidenomics, it should be more than six ninety nine, but it's only six ninety nine, so that's not bad. And then that was nine ninety nine at Ross. And if you want the T Rex, I think he's like twelve ninety nine over at TJ Maxx. Something a little bit more. Was it too much more? But I was just like, let me see how mine is first. One last time. Let's see if he's he's just walking alone singing the song side by side i wonder if i could scare the cats with this thing 